Hello crafters, welcome to my new crafty series, Corinne's Craft Closet. I'm getting married soon and I'm in the process of making my own dress and all of the decor. I swear it can be done. Today I'm gonna to show you a few projects that'll help you add that personalized DIY touch to your special day. First up, felt banners. In my opinion, nothing says festive like some fabric banners. For this project, you need some felt. I'm using EcoFi felt made from 100% post-consumer waste plastic bottles. You also need a cardboard template, a chalk wheel, scissors, embroidery floss, and a needle. To start out, place your template in one corner of a sheet of felt and trace around it with your chalk wheel. My template measures four by five inches. Repeat tracing your template until you've used up as much of the felt as possible. Now cut each rectangle, and then cut your shape from the middle without cutting the rectangle apart. This will be for one banner, and this will be for another banner. Two for the price of one. Cha-ching! Keep your shape separated in two piles, then choose one pile and thread your needle with a length of embroidery thread. Knot the end of the thread by crossing the end over the needle, wrapping the thread three times around the needle, holding it tight, and pulling the needle all the way through until you reach the end of the thread. Magic knot! Overlap two of your pieces like so, and stitch them together by going in through the back and pulling the thread all the way through. To knot the thread as close to the fabric as possible, make a loose knot, put your needle tip inside, and hold the tip against the fabric. Pull the thread and tighten the knot. Snip and repeat with the rest of your pieces. Then do the same with all your shape pieces. To hang your banners, add a loop of fish line to each end. This project is extremely customizable. Whether it be different colors or different shapes, you can really make these your own. As an added bonus, you can save these and use them for years and years to come. Next, we're gonna make some matching name cards. Using the same template, trace and cut out one shape for each of your guests. Then trace name cards on cardstock. Cut each one apart with an X-Acto knife and make two little holes at the top of the card. Next, write a guest name on the card. Position the card on your shape and using a needle that's been threaded with embroidery floss, feed the needle through one of the holes going front to back and then up from the back through the second hole. Even up both sides of the thread, then tie a little bow. Lastly, just snip the ends to even them up and repeat for all of your guests. For a coordinating ring pillow, I used Taylor's chalk and drew a design right on the fabric. Then went over the outline using a split stitch. Check out the embroidered Pegasus pillow video I did on Craft Division for the complete pillow construction concept. Then you just want to add some strings to hold your rings on with. You simply go in and out with your needle and thread, tie a little knot, and poof, your rings are secured. Yay! Whether you're planning on doing a lot or a little to add DIY elements to your wedding, start your projects as early as possible to work out any kinks. And may your wedding be fit for crafty royalty. Thank you so much for joining me on my wedding decor journey. Are you having any wedding crafting woes or just have a question? Leave them in a comment below. And until next time, happy crafting.